Shalom Amaki and more praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakradash, the double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Uh, salute once again to the sincere Akim out there of the hopeful elect. All right. And, um, you know, just some current news from this past week. You know, we, of course, we heard about the shooting that happened in, uh, in Texas and what have you. We already know what that's about, pretty much. You know, gun policies and gun control. All right. But, um, you know, there's also other other news that specifies or signifies the reason why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is gonna destroy America. Okay. Now you got the toy designing company Mattel. Um they're designing a transgender Barbie doll after Laverne Cox. Now I've never heard of Laverne Cox, but I started looking him up. Okay. I'm I'm gonna be call it call it what it is. I'm gonna call a spade a spade. All right. Laverne Cox is a transgender uh, woman, a transformer, okay? This, this is why America's called Babylon, because this shit is so confusing. Now, looking Laverne Cox up, you know, we looked up on Wikipedia, looked him up on Wikipedia, you know, and this just constantly referring to her, she, you know, as being a woman, but she was born a man, okay? Or he was born a man. Right, going back to what I just said, this is the reason why Babylon is known as the land of confusion. Okay, now I said I never heard of Laverne Cox, and when I looked him up, um, when I, yeah, when I looked him up, I was trying to figure out what you know what, what, what this person's sex really was. Okay, turns out he has a, a twin brother, you know, he was born with a twin brother, I guess his brother remained a male. And uh, Laverne Cox got a um, uh, sex change or whatever, okay? And, um, and you know, just re reading a little bio about this person just, just you know, basically was pissing me off because it, it, it just shows how wicked this society is, man, you know? You know, these people who are born who are born a certain sex and identifies themselves as being a, uh, the opposite sex, you know, every everything in their biography is gonna say that they are the sex that they decided to, to be, okay? So which is basically all lies and, um, and fallacies, man, and deception. So that's why the most is gonna destroy this place. Now going back to um, this transgender Barbie doll, it's gonna be designed after Laverne Cox to look like Laverne Cox and Laverne Cox was born a black man so you can understand all right so you know this this is uh, what we've been telling you man you know um the LGBTQ community homosexuality uh homosexual agenda or whatever is basically geared towards getting Israel to go off man all right you know, it, it, they're focusing on making making Jakes, uh, young black and Hispanic men and women become gay, all right? To, or to accept the gay agenda, all right? That's why the so-called black man is basically the poster boy for homosexuality, right? You had it, you had it um, with RuPaul, okay? Now you got this chump, uh, Laverne Cox, Right, who's receiving all kind of awards for the first transgender woman to star in a TV show or for all kind of bullshit, okay? So, you know, they get these plaques and these awards and now this person has a, a has a Barbie doll uh, designed after him, okay? So it's geared towards getting our people, Israel, to um, accept homosexuality, you know, things that, are, that go against their natural morale Things that are wicked and an abominable in the sight of the Most High, all right? And which our people are the children of the Most High, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the so-called white man knows this, okay? Matter of fact, let me get um, the book of Revelations, chapter 12, verse 10. It says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power, in the power of his Hamashiach. Right, yeah, that time is coming now, man. Okay, because we in the end times, the end of the so-called white man's rulership. All right, and all of these prophecies—they're basically popping off like popcorn, man. 
you don't put popcorn in the, in, in the popcorn maker and the seeds just start the little kernels and all that shit just start to pop, you know, from the heat. Well, that's how these prophecies are popping off, man. You know, it's, it's just constant prophecies coming forth, man, springing and sprouting all over the place, all over the world, man. Pursuant to the scriptures, pursuant to the prophecies found written in the Holy Bible. Okay, so we know our Lord and Savior is coming back and his kingdom is about to, 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 to be set or placed here on earth, a righteous kingdom, all right? It says, um, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Who's the accuser of our brethren? So-called white man, all right? The Edomites, the nation of Edom, the sons of Esau, starting with the wicked elite bankers who basically finance every, all, all manners of mischief and witchcraft that uh that is spread forth abroad in the world okay okay and they're accusing our people before the most high for sins that they basically um that they basically tempt our people to indulge in all right it says which accuse them before our power day and night all right so they uh, they accuse our people okay for being transgressors against the Most High when they constantly tempt and persuade our people to go off, man. All right? Because for them to be making a, a, a transgender doll, Barbie doll, baby, all right? That's basically aimed and geared towards little kids, man. You know? Towards little kids. For, uh, you know, because growing up, you know, the boys played with G.I. Joe and, and, and rough warrior action figures and little girls used to play with barbie dogs you know they would play with dolls doll babies and such you know so for them to put a have a a, a black so-called black transgender barbie doll all right they're, they're aiming it or gearing it towards um you black and hispanic children to uh, accept that that lgbtq abominable homosexual community agenda okay which is basically wicked it's pure abomination man and filth all right now there was a time where um where you know black black kids or kids of dark of uh, kids of melanin or dark melanin or whatever you know black babies little black babies hispanic babies they would only they would only like the white barbie dolls okay they would choose, they, you know, because all the Barbie dolls were all white at one time, man. Okay? So they would choose, the, they, they did, they ran tests on which doll are prettier. Is it the white Barbie doll or the black Barbie doll? Or not just the Barbie doll, but the doll baby, you know, a regular doll baby or whatever. And most of the kids chose the white ones, you know, because of the images that so-called white people portrayed themselves as being holy and um, beautiful pure and innocent all that bullshit man okay but um but now you got this transgender doll who's black modeled after laverne cox okay is um is you know the, the first transgender barbie doll that they pushing out there it just happens to be a barbie doll of color now going back to what i said there was a time where when it came to the to toys uh barbie dolls and doll babies and shit Little black kids prefer white baby dolls and Barbie dolls over black ones. All right? So Esau is basically aiming everything towards our people, man, to go off, to commit sins. All right? To accept homosexuality. That's why you have a transgender Barbie doll who is not only a, a homosexual, all right, as confusing as that may be, but this Barbie doll is also black. Okay, so this society has to go, and it's, and it's obviously, obviously clear who they're targeting, man, or who they're trying to, to 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 push this homo agenda on. Starting with the children, but in particular, you Israelite babies, all right, you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, all right, your children. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get this is Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 19. Verse 14, it says, The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, 
and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. So the Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. All right? And that's talking about here in America. That's why you have all of this wicked shit going on, especially with the LGBTQ community and all of this homosexual pride, with this gay agenda. All of this shit is going on, man, because there's a perverse spirit. A perverse spirit means this, a distorted spirit, something, something that's warped in judgment or backwards. Okay? All right? And that's exactly what's happening, man. You know? That's exactly what's happening in this society. Uh, recently, the, 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 I don't, the surgery hasn't happened yet, but there's plans on a, a doctor in India uh, trying to do a, a uterus transplant in a trans in a transgender woman who's born a male. All right, see, all this shit is a tongue twister, and it's all confusing for me to even say it. A transgender woman is a person that's born a man who has gotten a sex change to become a woman, to look like a woman, okay? And now you have a doctor in India who is trying to perform a, se a, a successful operation of a uterus transplant so that, a, so that a, a male who, who through surgery took on the identity of a woman, okay, can try to, uh, can try to grow a, 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 a can try to grow a child inside of their transplanted uterus. Okay, this is a fucking wicked society, man. Cause just trying to explain that shit is 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 fucking with my my mind, man. All right, let alone trying to bring it out. Okay, but that's why this this is a, it's a perverse spirit, man. Okay, and it's just not it's not just America. It's all over the world, man. It's all over the world. Matter of fact, I gotta Ecclesiastes real quick, man. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29, it says, Lo, this only have I found, that the Most High has made man upright. All right, talking about the Israelites. Okay? But they have sought out many inventions. Okay, if the man have sought out many inventions, all right, uh, all of that, this sex changes and these different operations and surgeries, okay, and all, all, all kind of wicked things, man. All kind of the, the, the nuclear missiles and atomic bombs, going back to um, you know to to, to to the Manhattan Project, okay, to make a to make an actual bomb that could just wipe out total cities. Right, destroy, destroy, destroy whole cities and the inhabitants in it. Okay, that's these are all wicked inventions, man. All right, and it's witchcraft that they're putting on the people to, um, you know, like the like the television, like the internet. Okay, to basically um, to 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 basically poison people's minds and to get them to accept their agenda in their wicked ways, man. You know, that's, that's an evil invention, man. It's a wicked invention. All right? Um, let me see. Let me bring out one more scripture. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. All right? And that's what's happening, man. That's the so-called white man because they're the ones that's pushing all of this madness. All right? You know, for, for uh, to have a uterus transplant implanted into a transgender woman, First of all, being a transgender is evil any goddamn way. But then on top of that, trying to go against the natural order of the Most High and, and have a, a, a male become impregnant, a man become impregnated, okay? That's fucking evil as hell, man. And these, you know, people in the science world, they're trying to, they want to see if this is going to actually become, be a, a success and a possibility, all right? That's one of the evil inventions of man. Okay, so everybody in the science world is trying to see if this this uh, uterus transplant is going to become successful. Because back in 1931, they they tried it on a um they tried it on a on I, I believe it was a transgender Danish woman who was born a man, right? Obviously got a sex change, and think I believe that's the first one. 
that um got the, the uterus transplant, but that person died of complications soon right after. Okay, when you look into the history of it, man. All right, this is the sick society that we live in, man. Okay, so you know, being that that person died, it wasn't a success. You know, you got these people in the science world, in the world of medicine, and all of that bullshit, the world of witchcraft. You know, basically rooting on this Indian doctor to see if if this this uh, uterus transplant into a man, male transgender woman, would be a success. So that's calling good. That's calling evil good. Something evil, and they're hoping that it can turn out good to be a success. That's why it says in Isaiah five and twenty, "Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter." All right, and that's the so-called white man. That's the so-called white man, you know, because he's the one who's ruling everything in this world, you know. Through his, you know, his doctors and medicines, he's done taught all these other nations. These them fucking coolies in India, all right? They go to these American doctorate schools to become doctors and physicians and and, and such. That's why here in America, um, in a lot of these hospitals, you got a lot of these Indians that are doctors, all right? They go to the so-called white man school and get their medical degrees and shit, and then they come and and, and practice um uh practice. Uh, being a doctor here in America in these hospitals, okay? Because America's Babylon, this is the, the land of witchcraft, man. And that's why the Most High is going to destroy this place, all right? So, you know, I'm going to end this video on that note, man. I'm say Shalom, Baba Rockham to you, brothers, man. Lord willing, I'll see you in the next one. Shalom.